Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. Today I'm asking the question, what's wrong with Lionheart Dark Moon? So Lionheart Dark Moon is uh, a game I should really like, and actually in fact in some ways do like. So it's a squad-based um, RPG from Emerald City Games um, by Congregate. Um, so I've been playing it for quite a long time, not played it for a while, um, I've been thinking about why, why that's the case. Um, the first thing to point out is by coming out of the game. Let's do that. Now, here we go. So these are all the games on my on my iPad. So you can see Dark Moon is almost three gigabytes. Now some games are big, that's kind of fair enough. They've got a lot of assets in there. Um, I'm playing this on an iPad, so it's not particularly an issue. Um, if I was playing this on a phone, um, I think the size is definitely an issue. Um, it doesn't mean it loads particularly um, slowly, I don't think. I don't think it has any kind of... Um, operational issues um, other than the fact it's just a really big game which I think is is kind of poor um, I think if you're making a game for mobile devices you need to think about storage sizes because storage size is a big issue for lots of people who have lots of things on their phones um, and, and I suppose even as the original download I suppose um, three gigabytes is, is, a, is a lot so that's kind of one of the key things um, people are going to be deleting this game unless they really love it because it's just very large now a few other things. I mean, this this game is in some ways very nice. I like the the UI. I like the um, user interface. Um, it's got enough. You, know, you can see there's kind of a lot of stuff going on here. But unlike some of these kind of games, it's it's kind of nicely laid out. You can see what's going on. Um, one issue I have here is going into this is my hero collection. So this is a kind of um, these kind of games. I guess have uh, different ways of approaching uh, heroes. Um, some of them. Um, you kind of consume, you have lots of low level cards that you consume to level up. This game doesn't have that, um, which is a bit odd because I've got so I've got all these heroes. Um, you can see I've got 56 out of 141 unlocked. Um, but of these 56, you don't really, apart from one mode, which is like an endless dungeon mode, you don't really use more than um, probably about eight, really. Um, so I've got all these ones here. Um, you can see all these arrows are saying I can level them up. Um, but these ones down at the bottom that have got like a power of 14, I mean, they just you don't use them. They're, they're kind of a bit pointless. They're all a bit generic as well. And in fact, this is a, a kind of a bigger issue that I've got with the game is these guys, so Timothy and uh, uh, Natalia, um, they're the characters you start off with effectively in the game. Um, and they're still my main characters. Um, I think that was another one. The, la the center was one I started off with, um, and this guy as well, the stumbler, who's really funny actually. Animation really good on this one. But th these are the characters I started off with. And these are the characters I'm still using. That's quite um, unusual, I think, in a, in this kind of squad-based RPG, where quite quickly you start unlocking some other new, more interesting characters, um, and then they become um, you kind of lose the original kind of ones you had. And in, in the case, you know, I've got this um, Red Branch Scout. She's not particularly interesting, but I've leveled her up. Um, now, obviously, there are a lot more kind of interesting characters down here. We can see here. Um, a legendary version of Natalia. Um, so um, these have been added, I think, fairly recently. Um, so all these extra really cool characters um, who I definitely would want to play as. But um, my initial kind of months of playing with the game um, was just a bit, you know, there was not a very interesting selection of characters. And the other thing, kind of slightly weird thing, I suppose, is, is um, you kind of see there's quite a range of of kind of power so you know these ones are quite kind of powerful and then got quite quickly it drops off so there's this kind of odd the, the kind of leveling up process is quite odd um, and this is particularly um, so you have this kind of um, so I can level up here this is the kind of the a shard system um, that then uses gold to level up I and mean, this is all kind of fairly um, kind of standard but she's only leveled up by 10 it's not very much you know it's not a game where you get I think a very strong feeling of quick leveling up and gain, gaining power they also have this leveling system here where you use these potions which is a little bit odd so you just kind of tap on these and, and you kind of get this other um, and then, I mean, this, is, this is actually the leveling up the levels as opposed to kind of the, the power system um, I just kind of feel it's a little bit uh, not very well integrated you also have this system so you have everyone has these um you have these pets as well, um, which you can upgrade um, using currency. And you run out of currency, this gold, you run out really quickly, so we just level up. And it's not very good. Um, pet, you can see I've got all these pets, um, just very generic pets. The pets, again, not very interesting. Um, this is a, r a rare blood hornet, but they're just not, I mean, this kind of game really um, 
seems to me, while it has some very nice elements, so it has like a friendship, a combo, so when you start playing lots of squad members together for a long period of time, you get these kind of combos that they build up um, more power together. It's kind of a nice way of, of, of allowing people to kind of power up kind of uh, in, in a um, kind of passive manner, almost just by playing the, the, uh, the two characters or three characters together, you kind of get these these, these interesting um, extra upgrades that you can't get any other way. That's nice, but a lot of it just seems very generic um, and not very um, rewarding. So this is the animation you do to summon new characters. That's fine, a key system. Um, but again, yeah, um, I'll get the sand crab, he's common, and I just got some more shards. And you see I've already got I've got 41 now, I need 10 to level him up. There's no point levelling him up, I'm never going to use him. Um, and it just, the whole game just feels a little bit like that. that there's, it understands what um, an interesting squad RPG is about, but it doesn't quite fulfil what you actually want. What earth is that? I don't know. It looks an interesting character. It looks like one I might want to play. A twisted shadow mage. Um, how does it actually play? Well, let's go and do that. So, shall we? I mean, it does this. It does do some of these things. Um, I guess kind of well as you'd expect. Um, so this one here. Now, can I do this? So, this is. Um, I did actually find it's very slow progress. So I'm only on. So you can play these chapters at different um, different difficulties. So even on the first chapter, I don't think I've 100%ed it. Um, so it's kind of the content is is not particularly quick to go through, which I think is frustrating. You like to go through these levels quite quickly. Um, this one, can I do a quick loot? So I can do a quick loot. This is based on this kind of currency system. So you see, I've got I've got um 15 of those, and I get you know it's typically what you'd expect. I get some rewards. I get gold coins. And I get those potions that I use to kind of um, level up. Um, so what I'm doing is just kind of pressing this to see if I can get anything a bit more interesting. Okay, I got one of those um, pets, but I've got loads of those, so it's pretty uninteresting. Um, am I going to get anything? So this is kind of not a particularly nice experience. Not particularly. I don't feel particularly well rewarded. Um, there we go. So that was the one I wanted. Um, so I've got that shard there. Um, so that was good. I got there, but I had I spent like quite a lot. I spent seven of those. If I want to go and do a mission, so I can choose. I like to say I like the design. Um, obviously, you can just drop different characters in. Another thing I do like about this as well is it's really fast. It's got a nice autoplay. Um, I think it looks good. The animations are nice. So this is just going on four speed autoplay. Um, and we just see my four characters in my squad are just kind of bashing through. Um, Again, even at full speed, it's not, it's not the fastest, is it? <laughs> and this is one of three waves. Um, and I do think with these kind of squad-based RPGs, there's a lot of them out there, um, and you do need to think about why people are playing yours rather than other ones. There's a lot of um, licensed um, IP, so there's Star Wars, there's, there's Marvel, DC Legends as well. Um, there's, you know, there's quite a lot of, of, of well-funded developers who are making these games with well-known IP. This is obviously a self-made IP, which gives you flexibility to do stuff you can't do, obviously, with um, with original IP, with, um, sorry, branded IP. Um, and I just don't think this game quite makes full element, takes full advantage of that. Um, we're doing anything kind of radically well enough or, or different enough. Um, you know, if you're going to try an out Star Wars or out kind of... Um, out monetize like a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, um, then you have to be doing something quite radical. You can't just go, well, we instead of, we'll take the kind of template and, and put in our characters because our characters are really cool. They may be, but they're not going to be more recognizable um, than Star Wars characters. And I just kind of feel it's, it's kind of frustrating because I do like this, I do like this genre a lot. Um, I have played quite a lot of, of Dark Moon and I just felt I wasn't really making a lot of progress. I wasn't unlocking cool characters. The characters I had, I wasn't really um, feel like I was progressing them very much. So even when you level them up, um, there's no um, kind of you don't change. There's no gearing system. You don't change the, their look, which is fine. Um, so here we go. We're just going to have. I mean, the dialogue and stuff is quite is quite reasonable. I think quite nice, um, but not interesting enough. <laughs> um, there's a dungeon system, which I think again is. I mean, it's not. Lots of games do this. So you basically you basically keep playing through the dungeon. 
Um, this is one where you actually do end up using all your characters. Um, so it's like a like a you use your entire roster and get as far as you can. Um, if it's going to load, and so this game isn't the, isn't the fastest to go. So um, so this is one where I'm actually using my lowest level characters. So I start off with my lowest level characters. Uh, again, just auto play and play through. Um, so as I, as I say, I think that there's a nice um, foundation here. Um, but there's just not enough to keep me coming back. When it comes to a choice between this and other um, squad-based RPGs, um, the characters don't jump out at me. The progression isn't fast enough, and it's you know three gig <laughs> on my on my on my, um, on my iPad. The other thing is the um, the PvP arena um, seems really unbalanced and had lots of. Um, problems just but it looks like my squad is going to destroy the other squad and, and, and it doesn't happen at all um, so I think there's some uh, some some misbalance in terms of matchmaking or, or in terms of how the autoplay for PvP works as well and I think for this kind of game unless everything is kind of spot on unless everything is encouraging um, that then it's not enough so this as I say I really like this kind of dungeon kind of thing um, it's probably too long because obviously to use up all my characters um, now um, to it's going to take probably about 10 minutes. I'm not sure. See, so one of mine, one of mine's died now, so I can um, select, or it will auto select. Um, and that kind of mode, I, I guess it it is okay if someone was a really big fan of this and you're getting some resources that you wouldn't get any other way. But but to play for like 10, even 15 minutes um, for this kind of game, this has to be your main game that you're playing. And for most people, I don't think it will be. There's almost that kind of competitive element. Um, this game versus other games that people might be playing in the same genre. Why are they going to play this one? That's kind of, I guess, my real kind of takeaway from from a game that I have enjoyed and have played um, uh, for a, a number of months. So I played it when it came out and didn't play it every day. Um, and I just feel a bit almost like annoyed with myself that I can't engage with this game better. But I just um, haven't played with it. <laughs> I haven't played for, the, for for over a month now. So it's time, um, I'm afraid. For Dark Moon to go. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, the long view is all about playing free to play mobile games, uh, playing them for uh, a long time. You know, I like playing games um, and seeing how they progress, seeing how the um, the kind of speed of progress is, seeing what you unlock, and seeing updates. Obviously, this is a game that has been updated um, a number of times, um, and updates can can clearly improve it. Um, so if you're interested in uh, free to play mobile games, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But other than that, thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.